Hello everybody. This is an old typewriter from 1927, the Remington 12. It's an office typewriter with many functions, tabulator, automatic reverse of the ribbon, and all the other basic functions. Remington was building rifles from 1816, and in 1873 started to build also typewriters. Then Remington family quit from the typewriter production in 1886, but the name remained. The Remington 12 is similar to its predecessor, the Remington 11. You see? The Remington 11 has a much more complicated tabulator, but they are very similar. The serial number is this. In this case, L is a model, the Remington 12, and S is June, according to this list. The 7 means 1927, and the serial number is this. Here there are some spare parts. Remington 10, 11, and 12 share almost the same spare parts. There is the Remington logo with their motto. To save time is to lengthen life. And this is the plate of the Swiss dealer from Zurich. Nice city on a lake. I visited Zurich in the 1985. I made this picture. I don't remember very well, but I don't think it's about elephants walking in the savannah of Zurich. Maybe it's a zoo. I have also this picture with my friends. We made a trip to Copenhagen and Amsterdam. We ran out of money and we slept in the car. So we made a bath in the lake. I also took this picture of Zurich. And this is the same place in 2023. In 40 years uh, didn't uh, change so much. There is also this uh, construction crane in the same place. Apparently they didn't finish the this construction after 40 years. This is a keyboard with uh, some uh, nice special mathematical characters. This is the omega symbol and the zero with the bar. This is another special character, the phi, from Greek alphabet, in use also in mathematics. This symbol could be a mathematical symbol called the tide, but uh, you can uh, make also nice decorations with it. There is a delta symbol. And this uh, maybe it's the gamma symbol or the inside of the symbol of Mercedes. Let's try with the O. Not very good. You can raise the paper rollers bar to insert the paper and you can unlock it with this button. To insert the paper you of course use the knob on the roller if the paper is not parallel with the line of writing, with this lever you can slacken the pressure of the lower feed rolls upon the paper. So you can adjust the paper. This is the interline lever. The interline selector is the screw. You can lift and move the screw in three different positions. With these buttons on the side of the roller, you can move freely the carriage back and forth. If you want to release the roller from the notches, you can press the right thumb wheel like this and fix it with this hook. Now the spacing ratchet is out of action and you can move freely the roller without notches. If you press again the hook, you restore the former situation. Now the ratchet wheel is in action again. This is the margin. And this lever on the bar is the margin release. The bell of the margin is here. 
inside the, the ribbon compartment on the side of the typewriter. You can also advance it manually via this little crank. If you push this little crank in or out, you reverse the direction. And here you select the color of the ribbon. There is a tabulator. You can set it with this slider on the back, on this bar. So also for this typewriter, that's all. If you like this typewriter, you could also like this uh, Remington 11, the model before the Remington 12. Have a nice day.